What's up, YouTube? It is 11 p.m. at night, and we will be removing this um, climate control radio control panel. Um, I did remove this before. I had it wrap into, or I attempted to wrap it with um, wood grain to match the rest of the wood. And um, not really my strong point. So what we're going to do today is we will be pulling off the wrap, scuffing it up, and we will give it a proper paint. I will be going with black to um, get into the black and tan interior accent theme. And at the same time, we will be putting a purple LED light into the analog clock. So stay tuned, all right? Okay, to start off, um, I have these two bolts, two um, bolts unbolted already. So um, you just want to get a flathead, pop these out. And there will be two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts, I believe. And from there, you can just clips right on, right? There you go. See, if I could do it with one hand, you could do it with two. Pops right out. Um, disconnect all the harness. For the clock, there will be two bolts right there. Uh, two screws, I should say. And you will um, be pushing it back and pulling it up. And it should come out as well, so... All right, sorry for the lack of light. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be one harness right here. One harness right here. Right here, okay. You guys can see it. it simply just comes right off, all right? Um, with my channel is you're gonna have to understand a little bit about cars and automotive lingo. Um, most of the time I'm gonna get the lingo wrong. <laughs> but if you understand cars, you will, um, you will know what I'm talking about, right? So yeah, I just went ahead and pulled it back. Just let it sit comfortably right there. And I'm gonna disconnect it. All right, so from the back side, as you guys can see, um, if you guys can see, I remove, let's see how many screws. One screw, two screw, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight screws came off. Um, we might have to take off these two bracket screws for the harness as well but let's see we really have to yeah we're gonna have to remove this and disconnect this and it should be be able to come out just like that and uh, these buttons they come off as well There's only one way it will go in so you wouldn't have to worry about getting that all mixed up later right we'll get to that later on though so right now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one bracket for the harness right here I'm gonna disconnect this and disconnect this harness and it should be completely clear and just like that it's out so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these buttons right here like I said it only goes in one way it's already numbered for you as you can see all right it'll only go in one way you cannot mess this up I went ahead and laid out all the buttons for you guys to see. Um, this is for the bottom, your middle. I got this wrong, but if you own the Q45 F50, you will know that your climate is on your left and your radio is on your right. So just like that, okay? Now that I got everything out, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the vent. I'm not too worried about all that. Um, it's getting painted anyways, and it's on the inside. And I'm just going to pull out all the wrap that I did. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't judge me, right? That was my first time ever wrapping anything in my whole entire life. And uh, I don't think I'll be doing it again. <laughs> I'm going to leave that to the professionals, okay? Know your weaknesses. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull this out, get it scuffed up, and we'll be painting it. So I decided to take off the vents. Just to keep uh, this color right here, because like I mentioned earlier, I'm going for a two-tone. I'll be going for a black and tan and whatever this color is. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, um, to take off the vent, you're going to have one screw right here. Let me get, let's see if I can get some light for you. Right there, you see that hole? Right there. It's going to be one screw only, okay? And I put the bottom... Out just like that went to the top clip right here 
and then I put it down and it came out. <coughs> well, it didn't come out, come out, but it detached. And then I just went ahead and just pulled it to the left. And then this clip came out with her. All right. Well, I had a blast peeling all this off. Um, little shred by shred. Said nobody ever. <laughs> but now that we got it done, um, I'm going to go ahead and scuff this down. This is how it looked like when I first got the car. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it. Attempt to wrap it. And um, after like five months, it started bubbling up. <laughs> so, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and fix this ISO right here. I'm going to go ahead and scuff this down with 320. And maybe bring it up to like 400. And um, from there, I'm just going to primer it and hit it with a spray. All right. This will be rattle can. When, um, when rattle canning, I'm just going to go mist, 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 mist. You don't want to start coating the crap out of it, all right? All right, so what I did was I cleaned up all the gunk with Goo Gone. Just a very little amount. Wiped everything down. Sanded it down with um, 320 and then 400. And then went ahead and wiped off all the debris and dust and whatnot. It is ready for primer. And after primer, we're gonna let it dry. During the process while it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the clock. We're gonna give it a Rolex fuel um, to bring out the uh, luxurious, 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 the luxuriousness of the car. <laughs> All right, you guys know what I meant. But yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and take this out next after I primer the dash and. Um, We'll go from there, right? All right, so it's now midnight and it's dark outside. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys um, how I paint this. Before I start, I'm gonna go ahead and test out my spray pattern. I'm not liking this, so I probably won't be using this. Let's swap out this nozzle. Okay. As you guys can see, the primer is now on nice and evenly. I took my time. The key is not to get it caked up, all right? So what I did was I just lightly dust it, dust it, dust it, let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes, dry to the touch. And then I went ahead and kept on dusting it until I got a nice even layer. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the analog clock. All right, so now that we got the climate control out of the way, out prime, ready, just drying up, we're gonna go ahead and work on the analog clock. Clock. <laughs> man, every freaking video, man, I'm always messing up somehow. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Um, there's gonna be two screws right here, as you guys can see, two Phillips. I'm gonna go ahead and get that removed. We're gonna push this back, lift this up. It should come right out. It's gonna be two bulbs. Um, they are polarity sensitive and for future references if you want to change all the lights on your climate control and your dash You're not gonna be able to do that. All right. Um, I Took it all out Swap that into colored LEDs just for everything to be green <laughs> and There's probably some kind of green lens behind there. That's um a film green film whatever So no matter what kind of color you put in there, it's just gonna be green, right? So don't even waste your time Trying to swap it out to a different color. Um, yeah with that being said I'm gonna get started on this um, Analog clock. We're gonna get some purple lights in there And we're gonna give it a little nice Rolex fuel, okay? So the first time I did this it was pretty confusing just so you guys get get to see. I uh, pushed my thumb in the center of the analog clock, analog clock, pushed it back, and it comes right up. All right, there's gonna be one harness right here, which is this one. Now we are ready to install the light bulbs. The light bulb is gonna be one up top right here, and one on the bottom right here, as you guys can see. One and two. I went ahead and tested it earlier before we mounted everything back up. Um, like I said, make sure you don't double work yourself. Good, huh? There you go. Everything is screwed back on. Ready to roll. Wow, take a look at that. Not bad, huh? Yep. Kind of digging it. I rock with that. 
All right, guys. Till next time. Peace out.